No, let's actually say this week. Let's go here. Of the week. How about that? Let's see. So see how when it comes to prompting, it's a back and forth. A lot of times, a lot of people don't know. It's not a one and done thing. Like, you know, you have to go back and forth. All right. So as at May 2023, Google announces new AI powered tools for advertisers. Facebook launches new program to help small businesses. Amazon announces new features for its advertising platform. And I am not sure, you know, I am not sure that that's what will happen if we were to go to chat gpt i'm gonna go over here to um chat gpt and let's see what happens if we actually ask it the same question over there and this is what i think makes bard really unique because chat gpt is still going off of information and here we go over here i'm running it now um what are the top digital marketing news of the week as an ai modeling i don't have real-time information access to current news as you can see Look at that. See how that stands out from this? Yeah, so that's Google for you, you know, because their AI tool seems to be a little bit more current compared to Chad GPT. Now, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm just saying, as you can see, look at, I mean, look, we just asked the same information and um, look at what Google Bard gave us. So think about that when you are using Google Bard um, and you're using all the other channels. Um, all the other AI tools, because some AI tools are better for some stuff. I've noticed like Google Bard is good for current information, whereas ChatGPT is better for content creation, you know.